Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to After Effects Beginners tutorial series. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Now if you haven't watched the previous part, I would totally recommend it so you can click here to watch it right now or you can click the link in the description below. So now we are going to create the handwritten text animation. Now this type of text animation works best with a handwritten font. So right now we have a different font. So I'm going to quickly double click to select it and now I'm going to change my font and I'm going to change this to something like this. So you can see that it is a cursive font and it has this really nice hand drawing kind of look so now we have our text and our next step is to select the pen tool and after that i'm going to click on this fill and make sure that fill is set to none just click on ok and i'm going to use the stroke so i can select the stroke and you can choose whatever color you want it does not matter but i'm going to select red because my text is in white color so i want to make it visible and after that i am going to increase the stroke width now we have to trace this full text using the pen tool and in order to do that make sure that the text is not selected so you can click anywhere you want and just make sure that the text is not selected and after that you can simply click over here and you will notice that it has created a shape layer so now what you have to do is just continue drawing the path and you have to cover the full text now you will notice that in some points there are gaps so you can increase the stroke width just like this so now you can again click on the last endpoint and you can hold down the alt key if you want and then you can move these handles just like this so again you can click anywhere you want just like this and if your text has these curves then you can just simply click and drag and you will notice that it will create these handles so using them you can create some really nice curves and again you can hold down the alt key to change this position just like this so now your task is to cover this full text just make sure that none of the part is visible and you can just keep on going and if you think the stroke is too much you can lower it down and just make sure that none of the white text area is visible so if it is visible then you can again select and just position it just like this now since i have selected this point at the end and now if i start creating you will notice that it will create the line from that point but we know that our point was this so in order to select this you have to just simply click anywhere you want and then you have to click the layer again and then you can click on the last point that you want to continue from and after that you can continue drawing so now i'm going to quickly draw this shape and just cover the whole text So now we are done with this and you will notice that we have this kind of shape and if you want you can again lower down its stroke and just make sure that none of the gaps are visible and if gaps are visible then you can again go back and you can click wherever you want and then you can play around with these points to cover up any of the gaps. So now our full text is covered. And now if you want to animate it, we are going to use the property called trim path. So again, you can go under the properties and you can go to add and just click and you can add the trim path option. So now we have the trim path over here and I'm going to quickly drag it down and you will notice again we have these two options. So the start and end point, we are going to use the end point. So if I change its value, you will notice that our shape is animating. So I'm going to add a keyframe for this one. So in the beginning, I am going to set this to zero and add a keyframe and let me just increase my timeline and I'm going to move it to somewhere around here and then I'm going to change it back to 100. So if I play back, now you will notice that we have this kind of animation and if you want, you can select then press F9 to easy ease them and then again, you can go back and just change your curve to look something like this now you can see that we have this kind of animation if you want to make your text visible we are going to use the track mat option but it is not visible so i'm going to click over here and now we have the track mat option so if you want to enable it just click on this and for this one we are going to set this to alpha mat 
so now if i play back here you can see that our text is animating and it has this write on effect now if it is too fast then again you can select the layer press u on the keyboard and you can increase the distance between the keyframes to make it slower just like this or you can again go to the graph editor and you can change it back to whatever you want just like this so in this way you can create some really nice handwritten text animation and you can use it at different places so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one <music>